Thanksgiving has come and gone, and you're left with tons of leftover turkey. Could just reheat this in the microwave and dump a bunch of cranberry sauce on it. Or... Turn that bird into something you actually want to eat. Now, grab a cast iron skillet. Link in the description if you want one. And for our base, let's lay down a few pieces of toasted sourdough. Now, I know tradition calls for Texas toast and not sourdough, but two things. One, I made a lot of sourdough bread and I need to get rid of it. And two, I just think it's gonna taste better. And 12 to 16 ounces of sliced turkey. If you want room, just uh, put some more sourdough on the side like this. And add a few hearty slices of tomato. On oh, a quick word on slicing tomatoes. Don't push down the tomato with your knife, you're gonna squish it. Just, just apply pressure on the knife, push it down, and slide it towards you. The first thing we gotta do is cook bacon. Now, here's the twist. You actually wanna par cook them. You'll find out why later. So with the broiler on low, stick them in the middle of the oven. And when they crisp up a bit, flip them over. When they no longer look raw, take them out of the oven. Again, we're only partially cooking them. Next step, turn your oven's broiler to high and insert your open face sandwich into the middle of the oven. Let it cook for five to 10 minutes or until you got a nice char on just about everything. Okay, now that we took care of the sandwich and the bacon, let's get to my favorite part, the sauce. Specifically, a Mornay sauce. Now, in a two quart saucepan, add two tablespoons of butter, actually helps if I had this on. Turn on to medium heat. Then add two tablespoons of flour. Add about half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then add two cups of heavy cream. Mix it until it's well combined. Bring it to a boil and thicken it. Looks like it's thickened up, so drop the heat down to low. And let's add half a cup of Parmesan. I know you're supposed to use Pecorino Romano, but do you have any idea how hectic grocery stores are at this time of year? Oh, and here's my little spin on the Mornay sauce. One teaspoon of pureed garlic. Give it a nice taste test. A tad more garlic, a little bit more cheese, and a bit more salt. Oh, perfect. With our Mornay sauce ready to go, pour it on top of our sandwich. Don't let the government your doctor, or your husband tell you how much sauce to put on it. Yeah, that's right, I said husband. Because the last time I checked, guys are not the ones who are pressured by society to be thin all the time. Now finally, let's layer our bacon on top. And finally, because I really hate my arteries, top it off with even more shredded Parmesan. Next, with the broiler still on high, but stick your hot brown in the oven, just enough for the bacon to crisp up and the cheese to melt. And finally, top it off with a little sprinkling of paprika. Put the skillet on something heatproof and crack open a beer. After all, this invention was invented to soak up booze. Thanksgiving might be over, but not pig out season. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. <laughs>